The Stairmaster has always been one of those pieces of gym equipment that I kind of flock towards. Two months pass by where I have not been working out, where I have not been consistent, where I've completely fallen off of my fitness journey. And I wanted to get back in it with something hardcore and something that will make me feel motivated and inspired to continue my workout. I also wanted to do something that was challenging so that I could actually see results. So let me just tell you a few things about the Stairmaster first before I go into the challenge and take you through each day. The Stairmaster is really, really good for your quads, your hamstrings, your calves, and your glutes which is one of the things that I am really, really focusing on in my fitness journey. I find the Stairmaster to be the best cardio machine in the entire gym. Better than the treadmill, better than the elliptical, better than a bike. The Stairmaster is one of those machines that if you're really working it, it's gonna really work your full body. It's great for that aerobic conditioning and to build the strength of your lungs get that oxygen pumping, get your heart nice and healthy and feeling good. It also improves your posture and helps to promote healthy bones. So it's just an all around beautiful piece of equipment. If you are kind of new to the gym, these kinds of machines are really, really easy as opposed to weight training in the gym because a lot more goes into weight training. You have to come up with a plan. You have to kind of learn which machines are going to target the areas of your body that you want to work on. There's a lot that kind of goes into weight training. However, cardio, you can just kind of jump right into cardio and get started. Now I want to go through my experience in doing 1000 steps a day on the Stairmaster and how it transformed my body and my mindset. Hopefully it will inspire you to take on your own challenge. You don't have to do 1000 steps a day, but hopefully it will inspire you to figure out some goal that you can set for yourself and start executing on that because going on a fitness journey is just a really exciting thing that you can do. It's one of the best things that you can do for your overall health and wellness. Tell me now, tell me something, cause I don't know how this gonna end. Oh no. Tell me so, I'm not gonna lie, the first day was very, very hard. Prior to the first day, the most steps that I had ever done was 350 steps. So to do a thousand, I was so out of breath. I was stopping like every hundred steps. The first day was so hard that once I got to like 400, I was just like, okay, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do 1000 steps. Maybe I can do 500 steps today and we're gonna work on building up to a thousand. That's what I thought was gonna happen that day. Um, but I pushed through 500 and then I saw my fiance, we go to the gym together and my fiance was like, you can do it, you can do it. You, you know, you're already like on 600 now. If my fiance has the belief in me, then I can have that same belief in myself. And just hearing some encouraging words really pushed me through that workout. So I would highly recommend you to work out with someone because by having that extra support, it can make all the difference in your workout. And I actually made it to 1,001 steps on that first day. And I was so, so hyped, so proud of myself. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it, but I did. And it just felt great. That shit was hard. When it came to the second day, there were a couple of things that I noticed about day one that I could have done to improve my situation and to make the workout a little bit more enjoyable. These little things that helped me to make my workout more enjoyable are very simple and you would think that like, duh, but I don't know why I didn't have them on the first day. So one of those things was to bring some water. I usually keep water in my car, but because um, I don't like to put water down in the gym it's just a lot of germs and nasties um i usually try to keep my water in the car but on the stairmaster it is so cardio intensive you need to have some water in order to give yourself more energy and stay hydrated throughout your workout and the other thing that i was missing was music during day one i was just listening to a book on audible and that's all good sometimes i like to listen to books while I'm working out, but if you are doing some heavy cardio 
exercises, I highly recommend that you listen to music instead of books because the music is going to keep your blood pumping. It's going to make you have a little bit more fun. You're loosening up and it will help you to push through your workouts a lot easier than when you're listening to an audiobook. Quick side note on day two, when I was taking a break, I accidentally hit the stop button instead of the pause button. So it gave me my summary when I was at 383 steps and then I had to start the machine over and I did another 680 steps for a total of 1,063 steps for day two. I just wanted to make that really clear because I didn't have anything showing the total number of steps combined. So I hit my target on day two, everything was great. One thing that I wanted to focus on on day three was I wanted to feel the burn in my glutes because that is what I'm really focusing on in my fitness journey. So I did some glute activation exercises just by doing a couple of reps on the hip abduction machine. So after doing the activation exercises, then I went on to the Stairmaster and I did my thousand steps. And let me just say that by the time I got to 400, my booty was on fire. Honestly, on that day, once I got to like 500 again, I was ready to throw in the towel. But I'm like, no, keep going. This is a challenge. Push yourself, push yourself, push yourself. And I hit my target again on the third day. Day three, I'm so tired today. My ass is sweating. That was a good workout, but I'm so nauseous right now. I could throw up right now. My head is hurting, my stomach hurts, and I'm tired than a bitch. So that's where we at. So I was continuing to hit my targets every single day. And then once I got to about day five or day six, that's when it really started to become challenging for me to do this every day. At this point, every day when I wake up, my legs will be extremely sore. And honestly, I was very, very unmotivated and I didn't feel like doing it. I just would wake up, throw on my workout clothes and go to the gym. I told myself that if I show up to the gym, I'm gonna get on this machine and I'm going to just take my time and do it. I'm not gonna lie, the motivation today was zero. But we got the thousand steps done. There was one day where I was just dreading going to the gym and I decided to go like randomly in the middle of the day, like at two o'clock and there was nobody in the gym and it was kind of nice to have the gym all to yourself. However, going to the gym in the middle of the day is kind of an awkward time for me. I like to either go really early in the morning or later in the evening but to go just in the middle of the day, I was so unmotivated. My mind was focused on so many other things that I wanted to get done. And that was probably the hardest workout that I had. So I'm like, okay, from here on out, no more working out at random times. It has to be in the morning um, because that's when I get the best workouts. Regardless if it took me a lot of time on those days when I was mentally struggling to get through it, it doesn't matter because your girl hit her target every single day. And once I got to like the last two days, I figured out another little trick to make my exercises more enjoyable. And that was to watch music videos while I'm on the Stairmaster. Listening to music is one thing, but when you are watching a music video, it's like, it makes the workout go so much faster. And so on day seven, when I did this, I was having so much fun. And we did it again. Did it again. Over a thousand steps. Feel great. Today was a lot of fun, actually. It wasn't that hard. I was just watching videos that were really enjoyable or funny or had a good rhythm to them, lots of dancing in the videos, and that really took my mind off of the pain of doing the Stairmaster. I didn't even need to take as many breaks, and I don't know if that is also partially because of my stamina building up over the week or if it was just because I was having so much fun. So I just have to say congratulations to myself because I finished. I feel great that I actually did this. Like, I feel good. 
the, the competitive spirit has come out and it feels good. It feels good to do those, those thousand steps and to know that like nobody else in the gym today did what I did. That's a great feeling. It feels like a win. And I must say that I am so proud of myself for doing this. I've never pushed myself this hard in the gym ever. Before when I was going to the gym in a very inconsistent way, I would go to work out and maybe even spend a whole hour in the gym and leave without breaking a sweat. And so this challenge, I was like drenched, drenched in sweat, dog tired, ready to fall on the floor every time that I got off that Stairmaster. I liked the challenge. I liked the push that I had to give myself in order to like really go beast mode and hit this goal every single day. I gained results in two aspects of my life in doing this challenge physically and mentally. But let's talk about the physical results because I'm sure that's probably what you clicked on this video for. So um, I did not weigh myself because I'm not really interested in losing weight. My fitness journey is more about toning up and building muscle. One thing that I noticed is that my stomach was way flatter after doing a thousand steps. I mean, I would be drenched in sweat when I would come off this machine. So I was definitely burning a lot of calories and my stomach just kind of flattened out. The biggest difference though was in my glutes. My booty like lifted up completely from doing a thousand steps a day and I could feel it. I could feel right under the cheeks. It was burning up under there and it just, it's looking toned now. It's, my legs are looking good and feeling toned. And I can definitely see how if this was something that I continued to do, even if I wasn't doing a thousand steps a day, just doing maybe like 300 or 500 steps on the Stairmaster would really, really get that lower body really toned and looking nice. And then mentally, the benefits that I received is just being super confident, feeling good, feeling positive feeling mentally healthy and strong, feeling confident is just like the biggest thing that you get from going to the gym and that's why I really love to go. I am not a doctor or fitness trainer or any type of professional medical person to be telling you what to do with your body. However, I will say from my own experience, the challenge of pushing yourself past the limits of what you thought you could do physically is something that's very rewarding. And it's what you need in order to gain momentum, is when you do something hard, you do something challenging, and you succeed at it, you gain that win under your belt. And the easiest way to gain some wins is in the gym. So I like to use the gym to kind of help motivate me in other areas of my life. That's why I really like to go in the morning because once I've gone to the gym and I've hit my goal at the gym, I'm able to hit my goal throughout the rest of the day. I'm able to take on my day with more confidence, with more productivity. I'm also just in a better mood, I'm feeling feeling better about myself because I've already succeeded at some things for the day. I've already won something for the day. And that is the biggest part about why doing a challenge like this is so, so, so beneficial for your life because you get some wins under your belt. Regardless of the physical results that you may see in your body, mentally you will receive so much more benefit from succeeding at a challenge like this. So I highly encourage anybody who's watching this to take on this challenge. If you are interested in doing this, then please let me know down in the comments. I would love, love, love to talk to you guys about this. And if you do, it would be even better if you made a video about it so that we can all benefit from each other and gain inspiration and motivation from each other. And that's like the most beautiful thing about YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out y'all.